Welcome to this Fire Monkey presentation where we're going to be having a look at how quick and easy it is to produce stunning visual applications that can run on both Windows and also on Mac OS X. So just before we get going, I'm currently running on a Mac and if we have a look down here I've got my virtual machine running which we're going to be going in and starting from here. So this is a Windows 7 virtual machine with Delphi Rad Studio XE2 installed. And you can do both these this demo in both Delphi and also in C Builder. So this demo doesn't have a lot to it. There's a control, there's a form. Uh, on the form we've got a T layout 3D, which enables us to position controls into a 3D space. So rather than just using the top and left which are now X and Y in FireMonkey. We can also use a Z position to have things in the background and also bring them forward. We've also got down here a rectangle which has got a few controls on it, so a button, a tracking bar, and an animation which will be used to show when things are loading. So before we get under the hood, let's run this application to start. Now I'm going to use a 32-bit version here, but we've also got target platforms for running as a 64-bit application on Windows. And once we've seen it running on Windows, we're going to actually have a look at running the same code directly out to the Mac. So here's our application running. If we choose Select, we're going to be able to select some images, and this has opened up the Windows Open dialog. Uh, if we choose one to open up, it's then going to open up that and the subsequent images within the folder. And using the tracker bar here, we can move our way through the images. And we've got some really nice smooth animations. And also you'll notice that every image has a reflection on there. And the reflection is just an effect that's been added to the image as it's been loaded in. And we can also use the, uh, the arrow keys on the keyboard to rotate through the images. So we've seen this application running on a PC. Now let's have a look. It's the same code. I'm just choosing a different target from the project. Now if we choose run here, this is now compiled and is now deploying out through um, PA server, which is our platform assist server which enables you to debug and run an application on a Mac from your IDE and Windows. So if we minimize our virtual machine we can now see running on Windows our same application Macified slightly and as we choose select now it brings up the Mac open dialog and we have the same functionality as before with the same reflections, with the same controls, with the same stunning visual effects. So let's have a quick look at the code underneath here to make this happen. And we can see if we come into the on click, we've got a method that's being called here called add folder. So if we go and find the declaration for this, we can see here this is just standard Delphi code. Where I was saying setting the filter for the open dialog. If the open dialog one dot execute then begin, we can see this is all standard code. So it's going to iterate through, find each one, add a 3D layer which we can then embed the image into. And finally, as it gets down here, we're able to see that the effect, the reflection effect, is added very quickly and easily to the image, and that gives the reflection of the image on the screen as it's run through. So we can see here this, as I say, pure Delphi code. There's no if defs, nothing else in here to say if it's a Mac, do something else. If it's a PC, do anything else. This is all native Delphi code. So to summarize, we've just seen a stunning visual business application that's being able to be written using common code 
that we're able to target for both Windows and Mac with a FileMonkey application layer protecting you from the differences between the different application development platforms.